Hi guys, I will show you today how to flash the Gustav R26 with the latest firmware, how to check the firmware and how to configure the HQ player and the new features which come with the latest update for the Gustav R26 and the E26. We have the R26 over here right now. What I will do is I will show you how to know which firmware you are on correctly currently. Download the bubble UPnP app or M Connect app in your device, a phone, a tablet would do, Android or iOS. Once you have downloaded the program, I start the bubble UPnP when I click on the share button I don't see any device over here the Gustard should appear over here currently the Gustard is on USB mode what I will do is I will switch to the LAN input wait for some time till the LAN recognizes the device and gives it a IP. I've opened WPNP. I click on the share button and I can see the Gustard appear over here. If I click it, it's selected. The version over here is one point 43 it's on the latest firmware but i will still show you how to update it what i will do is i will download the latest firmware i will attach the link to the latest firmware in the description you need two things one will be the software to flash the firmware and the firmware itself i will unzip the firmware over here There are four files over here, a change log, the firmware itself, a readme. You don't need anything apart from this file, which is the firmware. And we will install this software, which will flash the latest firmware. It's installed. We can select this few things you need to do before flashing is you need a type C USB cable which you can connect it to your laptop and the de go start device I will turn off the device first what I will do is I will power off the main button from the rear. I will connect the USB to the USB input over here. I will not turn on the device from the rear nor I will power it on from here I will just connect it to the laptop if you see a pop-up has appeared over here do not click on format what we will do right now is select the file select the target location over here it should appear something like this generic storage it will be a 32 GB SD card which is there click on select 
and click on flash click on yes to allow it to flash wait for some time it would take a minute or two So if you see this is done, we will close everything, we will eject the device, remove, remove the USB. We will power on the device from the right now. Now we have successfully flashed the latest firmware. Let's test if everything is fine. Okay, everything is working fine. I will show you the latest updates what you you receive with this update what you do is switch to the LAN input wait for some time till the router recognizes this as a device with this device you get Spotify connect and Tidal connect Spotify connect is only possible on paid versions of Spotify if you see if you see I've connected it to the Spotify and the latest version is over here I will show you Tidal Connect. It does appear on the Android devices, but you cannot select it. It doesn't select, if, but I can connect it to the other devices easily. It's not the case with the R26. What I will do is now show you how you configure the HQ player and rune with this. I will start rune and the HQ player. In HQ player, you need to do some settings. keep the input settings as default in the output select network audio adapter and the device will show up as your go start device 
the other set settings can be played around the way you want these are the settings which i am using currently pcm settings can be the way you want you want to up sample using pcm or dsd it's up to you based on how powerful your device is in rune what we do is go to settings setup add hq player and keep it as local host and click on add go to audio you'll have to you'll find this as a tube player you'll have to enable this if it's not enabled select the device and it's done if i play some songs it should up sample using a tube player Currently, it's on ever solo. I'll select the Gustav while land. One thing I need to point out is uh, whenever you use an external up sampler like HQ player, make sure you're enabling non oversampling mode. You need to enable this. What it means is it is not that the device won't uh, oversample within itself, but you are using a external oversampling mode also DSD direct will be enabled so that again you are not processing anything on the device but you are externally processing everything rest all settings can be the way they are what we will do right now is we will play some songs via rune to the Gustav via LAN using HU player NA Some said they saw you flying, and some said they saw you. 